Hi everyone, welcome back to our Star Citizen channel. It has been a while since I released a Star Citizen content. But now, 3.20 PTU just released into Wave 1 and Wave 2. It is time to get busy again and hopefully, hopefully, 3.20 can deliver all that glamorous promises. Say no more, let's get started. And for this first 3.20 PTU video, I won't be recording too long because it is already past 11 p.m. Pacific time. But uh, I will try to record as long as I can so that I can get this initial impression out for you guys. Let's go, guys. Persistent Universe. I'm just going to choose the uh, default skip tutorial. And uh, same thing, I am going to choose Lorville as home. Confirm. So I guess this one will be the very first impression of a 3.20 PTU video. And I have not read the patch note yet because I was busy during the day. And uh, I just find out like half an hour ago. So I downloaded and then now I want to uh, get a recording out. There we go. Anyone have a house I can tour? Yes, I do. So let's go tour the house that first thing first. I have zero FPS. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's recovering. 14, 15. Uh, hello? Elevator, please. Show up. Wow, FPS is really horrible. I can't see anything. I just click over here. Or not. Whoa. Holy moly, this FPS. Whoa, maybe, you know what, maybe I should, uh, let's check my graphic setting. So I'm already doing the high quality, medium, medium, so that's the bare minimum that uh, I can do V-Sync. I'm going to turn it off, no V-Sync, no film grain, yeah, this is the bare minimum that I can. I'm going to do a little bit of contrast and reduce the gamma a little bit, increase a little bit like this. Okay, so this is it. I shouldn't have chosen Lorville. Wow, but Lorville is what I'm fam very familiar with, so... Whoa! Oh, the train is here! I, I can't get in! I think the train left. I can hear it. The train just arrived. No sound. Okay. Alright. You see this uh, green bar over here? That's something new. Okay, FPS is getting a little bit better. Oh, oh! Look at this! Wow, I, I love it! This little detail. Ah, maybe CAG is introducing politics and powerful, like, NPC individuals into the game. I don't know, I'm just guessing. You can see the political posters. We know who this guy is. <laughs> Alright. You are... Leaving a green zone. I am leaving a green zone? Um, we still have the armistice rule, right? The armistice... Let me see. Hold on. Okay, I have my pistol. So, can I pull my pistol? No, I cannot pull my pistol. Let me check... Uh, gun. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. What? It's hollow. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's rendered. Okay. I don't have um, the... Thing, but uh, looks like we can use a tractor beam. Not tractor beam, the multi-tool, but I don't know yet because I don't have any attachment. So let's get the most important thing done. Let me call. Let me check. Welcome. Ship the terminal. Okay, how C. Let's look for how C. Miss Calais. Miss Ah. Oh, Miss Call C. I think that's the only new ship that's in this new patch right now. So let's have it deliver. 4,608 cargo. Well, this is nothing new, but uh, look at this number compared well, with all the other numbers. Even the the C2. This is crazy. Okay, retrieve. All of our spaces are currently in use. Hangar. For the next available assignment. Okay, the voice is also changed. Hangar 5. Yep. NPC still standing on chairs, and uh, I think this guy was doing the uh, the moonwalk, right? Michael Jackson. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the house C. Whoa! Holy 
moly, this is huge. This looks like uh, a capital ship. Is this a capital ship? No, I don't think how E is a capital ship, right? This is not a capital ship. But this ship is sure huge. It looks pretty. Elevator over here. Ooh, cool. So you we can we have an elevator over here. Let me click. Okay. The sound is pretty cool as well. Okay, only one side you can go in. So this is one elevator here. Let's uh, check. Let's take a look all around. Wow, look at those engines. Oh my lord, this is... Holy moly. Okay, so the is the elevator the only way in? I think so. Here, close. Wow. What an experience. You know what? This uh, FPS is really bad. So let's just go to the bridge and fly the ship out of Lorville. Let's just take a look at the outside of the ship. And then we're going to take a look at the inside. So where is the bridge? Bridge. Ah, oh, captain's chair. Awesome. Over here. You got a computer here. I think this is a fair distinguisher or something. Oh, you got a you got a radar here as well. So you can access over here. So that's all the button you can push in the cockpit over here as well. But you can't wait. Hold on, let me see. Mind your steps. No, you can't push anything over here. So this is the captain's chair. We're gonna sit on that later. So let's get out of this uh, godforsaken FPS place. So. Out, out, in. You are clear to launch. Okay, R, I, R. Is the ship on? Oh, power is, is U. Okay, it's not R anymore. It's U. Okay, I guess all my um, stick keybinds are reset. So I have to spend time doing that. I'm not going to spend time. So I'm going to use the mouse and keyboard. And wish me luck. This looks like a... A fighter. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's just fly out here. Okay, lifting off. Very carefully using mouse and keyboard. Let's retract landing gear. Thank you. And please visit again. Pretty cool. Wait, what happened to Lorville? Did you guys see that smoke? It's moving. Lifting off. Let's uh, continue lifting off. Oh, that's uh, thin smoke. Fog. Not smoke. Fog. Or pollution. Whatever you call it. So, let me see. Ooh. Yeah, my flying is going to be a little bit awkward because I'm using keyboard and, keyboard and mouse right now. But uh, the engine sound is pretty cool. Okay, let's uh, tilt up. Let's gain some altitude. I'm dropping. Keybinds has been changed. C is not cruise control anymore. Because uh, let me see inter interact lock. Decouple, couple. Okay, C is couple, decouple. Wow, alright. A lot of things has changed. So let's, uh, let's get out here first. All right, let's do our first quantum jump. Jumping. Ooh. Wow. So cool. This ship is so cool looking. Um, let me expand the... Um, what, what is the thing? Let me see. It works now if you uh, disengage cru cruise control. All these buttons, it, it actually functions. Enable proximity. Disable ESP. Oh, enable ESP. Oh, you can see this button actually turns up and down. Disable couple flight. There we go. Cool.
extend cargo spindle. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. Whoa. So many arms. Wow, that is a very smooth animation. Wow. Awesome. Here, retract cargo spindle. Oh, this is very, very cool. Very smooth animation, but no sound. I couldn't hear anything. So let's try to... Well, you know, this ship looks like a, a fighter, like a combat ship without the, the cargo thing. The look of it. Let's uh, take a tour of uh, the ship. Right now we have a good FPS. First thing, let's check the captain's chair. Is there any button that I can press? Power on. Okay, no, I cannot do anything. Power, no, I don't have the control to do this, but this is really cool. I can uh, see the status of the ship. All right, okay, from the bridge, let's take a quick tour of the ship. So, this one, access. Shield generator, let's check over here. As these are the suits for the suits even has the name for the person captain navigator engineer pilot pilot is the last okay so four suits over here bridge gravity generator empty okay over here Ooh, window is looks really nice you can see outside this is the elevator that will take us down so airlock Okay, cool. We also got a really nice airlock here. So let's uh, take a look outside. Cool. Oh, we got another airlock over there. So that section we can also take a look. Okay, nice. Let's uh, go. Oh, I got only one. Okay, okay. I can't risk it. I'm gonna die here so that's a risky area that's a dangerous area don't go in here but because i want to look at the window over there it's really nice but let's go in so let's keep our tour Geo generator here is the escape okay escape pods over here push oh escape pods it's uh not functional but you can get in you cannot close from the inside guess when it's functional then you can press all those buttons but uh, it's really cool engineer this is for engineer this is for navigator this one for pilot this one for captain so if you have guests on the ship no escape house for you life support empty very cool okay engineering let's go to engineering open oh This is, you go to the other side of the ship. Okay, let's go that later, but this is so cool. Oh, you can hear the EVA sound when you walk over here. Okay, so let's walk up. I cannot uh, get up there. Okay, it looks like this ladder is bugged. So, no matter how I try, I just uh, cannot climb it up. Try to solve it. Let me sit on the chair and then try to climb the ladder again. Oh, there we go. This little bug solved. So, this is the top deck. Living quarters. And this is the cargo ops. Okay, let's... Oh, cargo ops means... Uh, I see. So, you use this chair to scoop cargo or something. Whoa, look at that sound. Enter remote turret. All right, so there is remote turret over here, but it's not for weapons. Looks like uh, you can you can use um, whatever tool that's here to scoop the cargo, to put the cargo, snap it in your uh, cargo grids or something. 
I assume you have a uh, another chair like this on the other side of the ship. So each panel you have this chair sit there so you can work to work on those cargoes to put those cargoes. Big cargo box over here. So this is for this panel. Each panel. So you have uh, eight panels total. So each panel you have a remote turret to, con to control it. All right, living quarter, kitchen. It looks nice, looks clean, you know? And here you serve food. And the thing is that the living quarter is uh, by the kitchen. So if that food smells good, you can't sleep very well. You want to eat it. But if that food smells bad, you can't sleep well either. So either way, bunker beds by the kitchen, I mean, in the kitchen, whose idea is that? <laughs> Lights off. Okay, I want to try these, uh, but I'm afraid that I can get bugged, so I'm not going to try that. Nope, it's uh, not. Uh, you can sit on there as well. Blast door. You can't see anything. Okay, so this is it. Oh, there's a room over here open. Bathroom, yes. We need a bathroom. Uh, this doesn't look like uh, storage. Oh, we got a uh, external storage, 8,000K micro ICU shared storage, if that works. And you got two of them, four of them actually, and the uh, bathroom. Wow, we got towels now and we still have these uh, Dare product over here. Let's see, toilet. Nice, nice and clean. I guess the water is not working. Mirror, there's no mirror still. But, uh, hey, this bathroom looks nice and clean. I like it. I don't see any weapons locker yet. That's it for this place. Let me see if I can uh, jump down. Yes, I can. All right. Are you guys ready? Let's walk in here. Look at that. This is a um, space tunnel. A walkable wormhole. On the other side, we will reach Pyro. It is certainly a long walk. And I got tier 3 chest injuries. Let's keep walking. Ignore that injury. Okay. Getting in here. Whoa, my suit. Yeah, it is a dangerous road to go to Pyro. See my suit? <laughs> oh man. Whoa, what is this? Reactor, something, engineering, and I, I assume that I cannot climb this. Oh, yep. My suit is bugged, so I cannot climb this ladder. So let's take the elevator. Component access and engineering. I assume this is engineering. Yes, this is engineering and component access. Let's go to component access. Pretty fast. Nice. Open. So we have a cooler. I think these are size 3 cooler. That's huge. Yes, size 3. We have an access. We have a door over here. It, oh, escape. We cannot open this door. All right. This is another cooler over here. And this is uh, a power plant. Size 3. Both are very huge. Okay. Shield generator. And then jump drive bay. Jump drive. Oh, I like that little anima animation. The door opens. Cool. Shield generator. We have one shield generator like by the bridge, I think. And then one shield generator over here. And you can see all those wires here. I think these are for the engineering gameplay. You can see all these intricate wires and also this handle. Once the engineering comes into play, we can actually, I assume, we can actually do something about those things. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, this is the end of the road. We have not reached Pyro yet. So let's go to the next level. Yep, you can see all these uh, wires throughout the ship. Airlock. Open. Oh. Alright, there's one. There is an escape pod for another engineer. No, this is not a skipper. This is a suit locker. Yep. And this is it. Okay. Take a leap of faith. And we're out. Look at these engines. 
Holy moly, what is going on over here? I think the animation is uh, needs some improvement over here. <laughs> or this is some uh, really new warp drive thing. Yeah, maybe it's a new technology, new warp drive. Can take you straight to Pyro. Those engines are really cool. Okay, let's not get too close to these area. Might be dangerous. Over here, you have... I think those are size 2, right? Size 2 weapons. That's the only weapon I've seen so far. In the bottom... Oh, there we go. You also have... Uh, this might be 2 size 3s over here. Look at the size of it. I'm not exactly sure. I need to read the specs. I forgot. Okay, I want to check, is there any weapons locker? Because on the Hall A, we have a nice little weapons locker over there. But uh, the Hall C, uh, so far I have not seen any weapons locker. Because uh, for a huge ship like this, if we get boarded, we need the armory to defend ourselves. Habitation. Let me see, over here, no. What are these? Maintenance. So, no. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I am going to crawl my way all the way to engineering again. Okay, guys, I have reached Pyro. No, I disappeared. Oh, no. <laughs> No, it's pretty straightforward, all these places. I don't think I missed anything. Okay, I have a question. Remember the chair that we sit that has four turrets? That's facing the, the cargo spindle? The four spindle on the other side? Where is the chair that you can sit on this side? So you can face the four spindles from this side. Okay, these are the four remote turrets. So I don't see any other remote turrets that I can go. I think that's an NPC. Okay. Um, yeah, so we can work on this spindle with this turret over here. I think this is the back. And then we have four over here. I can't even enter remote turret. I cannot exit seat. This is it, I think, for this. Uh, I, I want to go to the Seraphim station with the ship. But uh, I, I got bugged on the chair. So I cannot move at all. So I have to log out. But it's uh, already past midnight. So I'm going to end this video. I have to edit really quick and release it. So this is just going to be a quick tour. It's not a comprehensive tour of the Miss Call C. There must be something I missed. Oh. Actually, 30k. That's why. Alright guys, so I will be doing a lot more and more detailed look at all the new ships, new station, new feature, new missions for the 3.20 PTU. Start tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you know something that I missed for the Hossi, or if there's anything you want me to do, you want me to check out, something that you want me to check out first, please leave in the comments below. Alright guys. I will see you guys in the next video very soon.